Hi, welcome to the Angular and Spring Boot CRUD tutorial. In this video, we are going to sort the expenses based on the amount and the expense name. So let's begin. As I said, we are going to add the drop down button and we are going to provide two options. We can sort the expenses based on the expense name and the amount. For the name, we are going to sort it using the ascending order and for the amount, we are going to sort it using the descending order. So let's begin. So let's go to the Visual Studio code. First, we're going to define a property inside the filters. Let's go to the TS file and inside the filters, we are going to add one more property, which is sort by. And by default, we're going to set to a name, which is expense name. And by default, it will be filtered with the uh, expense name in ascending order. So let's save this. And now let's go to the uh, view template and let's create the drop down list actually the sorting mechanism is very very easy uh, let's do that we are going to create a select text box and i'm going to add the name which is sort by and also we are going to attach the ng model we are going to make use of the banana in a box syntax ng model and we are going to access the sort by using filters dot sort by and also we need to attach a change event uh, before that let's actually provide the options options let me do that okay option and let me get rid of this value we don't need this value actually we can use uh, the first one is the name using the uh, expense name and another one is amount so let's get rid of this name and let's specify amount okay so now we need to attach the uh, what change event before that let's actually uh, save this and let's see what do we get in the browser let's go to the browser and see now we have the two options name and amount let's go to the uh, uh, ts file and let's define the logic so inside the ts file we are going to attach a ch or let's say we are going to make a method chaining so to this filters once we filter out the expenses we are going to sort the expenses so we are going to call a sort method on this expenses dot sort you can see i don't go over in detail about this sort method this is a javascript sort method you can go ahead and check this method inside the mdn docs it is it has a great uh, documentation inside the MDN. I'll drop a link in the description section of this video for the documentation. Go ahead and check this out in case if you are new to this sort method. This is going to take two parameters, the expense A on expense B, or you can say expense one and expense two. And I'm going to call this A comma B, and we're going to make use of the arrow function. And inside this, we are going to write a condition because we have uh, two sort methods. One is amount and name so let's write the condition if or else if and inside the if condition we are going to check whether the sort by filters dot sort by is equal to equal to name then we are going to sort this in ascending order through the expense name else if this dot filters dot sort by equal to equal to amount then we are going to sort the expense amount with descending order so inside this let's write our logic just one line of uh, logic return a comma a dot expense name which is a dot expense and we are going to convert this to a lowercase to lowercase and then we are going to check a condition if it is less than b dot expense dot to lowercase then we are going to return minus one otherwise we are going to return one which is a positive number and we are going to do same thing with the amount as well return a dot amount is greater than b dot amount then we are going to return minus one otherwise we are going to return one so this is going to sort in ascending order 
and this is going to sort in descending order so let's save this and let's go to the browser and see what do we get by default it should be sort using the expense name in ascending order let's go ahead and see that as you can see now it is sorted in ascending order because we have selected the name and you can see it is sorted in the ascending order c comes first then h m m and w if you change this to amount nothing will happen because we have not written any uh, on change function so let's go ahead and wire up the on change event or the change event uh, inside the visual studio code let's go to the view template and we are going to provide or we are going to wire up the change event and to this change event we are going to call the least expenses and let's save this and now let's go to the browser and if the user selects amount you can see it is sorted based on the amount in a descending order the highest comes first which is 13,000 then 8,900 and 720 so if you go to the uh, name then it, it has been sorted through the ascending order using the expense name and the good thing about is if I sort for something like yum it has been sorted for monitor and washing machine so now if I change this to amount you can see within these two records it has been sorted that's awesome so I love this feature so now we have this washing machine which is the highest one 13,000 and 8,900 second one so if I go with the name then you can see the monitor comes first then the washing machine so if I remove then it will becomes it will reset you can see so this is all about searching and sorting so in this application we have created we have tried a bunch of features like the read operation the create operation and the delete operation and the update operation also we have covered the the searching and the sorting go ahead and add a few more uh, features to this application if you would like to add and if you want me to add any other features to this application drop your comments in the comment section i'll try to add those features to this application maybe it could be a login or it could be logout or it could be a jot authentication or it could be email activation anything just drop your suggestions in the comment section or in the uh, forum or in anywhere you can also ping me to my email address i would like to add those features to this application as of now we have done with this course and maybe in the future or in the upcoming days i would like to add more features to this application thank you so much for watching make sure to subscribe to my youtube channel and support my channel by becoming a member and also you can share our videos with your friends and colleagues if you are looking for the source code you can always find on my website which is which is bushansirgur.in and right now i will be writing an written article on this application maybe i'll post this in two three two or three days that will be out on this website which is bushansirgur.in make sure to check out this website as well and that's it thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video